I would assume you, you would not want to have a slow start offensively tomorrow night as you did last night. Your yeah, I that. mean, definitely we, we, we don't want to start off slow. But, um, you know, one of the things I think this team does is we, we have to get a feel, you know, for the game. So um, even if we do start off a little slowly, I don't worry too much about it because that's, that's kind of who we are. We, you know, it takes us a little bit to – get a feel for the game, get a feel for the team. Um, they understand the game plan uh, intellectually, but understanding it experientially every night is different. So it, it takes us sometimes a, you know, a little bit to get going and, and, and see how the game is gonna be played. Um, but then once we get going, we're, we're generally okay. How is LSU different this year, you think? Well, I think one, one way they're different is Plaisance is, you know, she's a problem. I mean, she's a, you know, a match of nightmare. Um, just what she can do with her size at 6'5", shooting it from the outside, putting it on the floor, creating her own shot, creating for her teammates, um, and then being able to, to score down low. Um, certainly last year with Lissandra Barrett, you know, Lissandra Barrett was able to, to do the same thing, go inside, outside, but you know, Lissandra Barrett's 6'1", and Plays on to six five, so um, that that's a that's a that's a big difference. Um, you know, certainly they don't have as much depth this year as they did last year, but um, you know they still rebound the ball very well. Uh, they're playing the matchup zone very very well, um, making it tough for you to to get shots and and to figure out what they're doing. Um, so, you know, they've been a team that I think um, across the season, you know, with integrating so many new players, not necessarily new to the team, but new, new roles, um, having, having bigger responsibilities. Um, it takes some time for you to kind of kind of gel. And um, they started to figure it out the last seven, eight games of the season of, you know, who they are, who their identity is, how they need to play, what they could do well and be successful at. Um, and, and I think they're now playing their best basketball of the season and playing with a, a high level of confidence and playing on their home floor in this environment. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's tough. That's tough to play against. So we, we've got to be ready. And, um, you know, we've got to be, be ready to defend their physical play, keep them off the boards, um, and, and try to have it an a up-tempo game because that's what we like to play. Given um, the up-tempo game you like to play, I guess you would imagine that they would be tested with only seven or eight players, depending on John Kenny's status. And to what extent do you think that could be a factor that, that you could exploit? Well, you know, I hope it'll be a factor. But you know, the, the thing is, they play with limited numbers all year, so they they know how to play with seven people the whole game. I mean, that's. That's not something new for them. It's not like they've been playing 10, 11 people and, you know, the last week or two they've, they've had injuries. This has been something they've dealt with all season long. So I don't, I don't see it being um, a big chink in their armor, you know, only, only having seven people um, at their disposal. That's, that's what they've had to deal with all season long, and, I, and, and they've dealt with it very, very well. Um, so I, I just, you know, again, we, we want to dictate the tempo. You know, and, and one of the ways they um, seem to start to have success was slowing it down a little bit late in the season. So, again, it's, I think it's going to be um, a contrast in styles. You know, we wanted up tempo. Um, they probably like it a little bit slower. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see which style can kind of win out. Do you know Nikki at all, or do you have any kind of coaching relationship besides recruiting trail? Have you ever coached yeah, together? Yeah, so? um, you know we're 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 friends. You know we've been friends. We played against each other in college, although both of us are so old we don't remember the game very much. Um, but you know we've you know we've become friends as well as colleagues, and um, you know I, I have a, a tremendous high regard for what she's done, what she's accomplished as a as a head coach. Um, certainly, you know, uh, being a part of the Tennessee coaching staff for so many years and having so much success. I mean, she's um, one of the one of the future 
uh, superstar coaches in this league, in, in, in the country, actually. Um, so, I mean, what she's done with this team this year, given their injuries and limited numbers, is, is phenomenal. Um, and uh, when we're not playing against each other, I certainly root for her success. Scott, have you ever been, as a coach or a player, in a situation like they're in where you have just limited numbers and you're trying to fight through that? Is there anything you, you can recall that was similar? Um, well, as a player, you, you like having limited numbers because that means you don't come out the game. So I'm sure their players are, are excited about that. They know coming in every game, they're going to they're gonna get plenty of run and lots of sweat. Um, you know, with TV timeouts and timeouts you can take, you know, I, I think having seven, eight people is, is plenty. You know, I just, I don't think it's, uh, I, I don't think it's uh, something that, hinders you from being successful. So, um, you know, when when, uh, when I was at Notre Dame and, and we made it to the, the, we won the national championship, I think we only played eight players. So, uh, I'm not feeling sorry for Nikki Caldwell. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be fine. Um, coach, is it at all uh, intimidating to coach against someone who wears shoes the way Nikki does? Can you see what she does? You see how high my heels are? <laughs> They're not as fancy, not as much animal print, but you know, the heel's pretty high. I'm only 5'6, but on game day, I'm like 5'10. <laughs> you know, having returned the bulk of our team from last year and played in these, these type of games. Um, so I think our experience and, and you know, understanding. Um, how long these games are um, is, is one of the things that makes us better. Um, but I also think probably the biggest area we've gotten better is defensively. Um, I think we, uh, we play better team defense. Um, you know, statistically, uh, I think across the board, our defensive numbers are better. And, and that's helped us when we have nights where we haven't shot the ball well. Um, we're able to stay in games. We're able to um, maybe even squeak some out, and, and if we haven't been successful, we're at least able to keep it close. So um, I think our defense and, and offensively, um, you know, I think our balance offensively is, is a little bit better. I think we play better um, inside, outside, or outside in, depending on the game and the team and how they're defending us. Um, so I think we have just a, a better offensive balance. And so those three things. <laughs>